You must believe and you must understand and you must know that God is happy when you prosper. It is the will of God for you to prosper. The Bible says in 3 John verse 2 that I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health. God, the Bible says, takes pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. The Bible says, but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. God is willing and happy for you to be rich. Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. As usual, the God of the heavens and the earth, the creator of all flesh, your father, my father, has another idea that he put in my mouth this morning to speak to you, to encourage you, to motivate you, to inspire you, and to bless you. And this morning, my prayer is that God will strengthen you. God will open your eyes of understanding. God will give you divine ability to go and to get the best. You will not be stranded in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Today, I want to continue from where I stopped yesterday. Remember, I was talking yesterday about the power to get wealth. God gives us power to get wealth. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth. You see, when we pay our tithe, he promised to give us a blessing that we bring, you know, that will be too much that we cannot even, you know, have enough room to contain it. But the people who pay tithe, some of them don't understand what that really means. They think that when you pay your tithe, money will just be rushing in. But he said, I'm going to give you a blessing, a blessing. The Bible talks about that blessing. It says, the blessings of the Lord make it rich. The blessing is not rich. The blessing will make you rich. When God gives you the blessing, the blessing will make you rich. The blessing is the power that, you know, he said, thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to make wealth. The blessing is the power that make wealth. He didn't say, I will give you money. He said, I will give you the power to make money. You see, making money is the affair of people on earth. Let me explain it to you this way. What is money? Money is just a a, a medium of exchange of goods and services. Money is what we receive when we have goods and services to render. Goods are products of any kind that people need. Services are, you know, what you can do in any way. To help somebody. It could be you are working for a boss who needs your services to continue his business. It can be service of anything. Maybe traveling agency or barbing salon or hairdressing salon. There are different millions of services that people need in our world. So when you are, you know, when you when you are ready and willing to provide a service, money will exchange hands. When there are goods or products that you are willing to sell or produce, then money will come. Meaning, money flows to solution to problem because these goods and services are problem-solving device. The services you render is solving somebody's problems. For instance, somebody who is so busy, he doesn't have the the, the, the time to be driving himself. So he employs you as a driver. As you drive him to work, you are becoming, you are, you are meeting a certain need. You are, you, are, you are solving a certain problem for somebody. And for that, the person is willing to give you money for the services rendered. So when we understand money to be the outcome of the solution I am willing to prefer to somebody's problem, then we will have another attitude to money. Money, you know, the Bible says answer it all things. It doesn't mean that money can do everything. But what it means is that, you see, when you are willing to solve somebody's problems, that person will be willing to release his or her money to you. 
money, no matter how close you are to anybody, money cannot come from that person to you until you are willing and ready to do something of value in commensurate to the money that the person will release to you. And this is why people are complaining, I'm paying my tithe, I don't have money. Because when you pay your tithe, God gives you divine ability. He gives you divine ideas that you're going to use, that is going to help you to prefer solution to people's problems. The divine ideas that if you follow them, is going to help you make goods and services available to those who are ready to pay you. And it has nothing to do with whether you get a job or not. Job is just a service rendered. There are other services you can provide. If you don't get a job where you can render services and get paid for those services, then you can think of services which you can render and people will be willing and ready to pay you for those services. And this is where business comes in. And this is why only business people make real wealth because businesses have no cap. If you are working for an organization, there is a cap to your salary. There is a limit. Because as you begin to work, there is going to be an agreement of the salary. But when you open your own business, there is no limit. You can expand that business to any level. And this is why it is very important for you to understand the process of making money. Without goods and services to render, there cannot be money to exchange. It is those who are willing and ready to provide goods and services that are going to be in possession of money. So think about it. People are saying COVID-19, no business, no money, but some other people are making money. Think. If you can think of a service, If you can think of a problem that you are willing and ready to provide solution to, there is no doubt that money will flock your way. And don't think that money goes to a certain family. Money goes to anybody who is willing and ready to provide solution. And that is why you see some people, even though they are handicapped, yet they are rich. You see some people, even though they are crippled, they are rich. You see some people, even though their hands are withered, and yet they are rich. You see some people, even though they are poor, I mean, they are, they, are, they, are, they are blind, and yet they are rich. There is money everywhere. There is money in the village. There is money in the town. There is money in rich country. There is money in poor country. Money has no location. Money flows not to location. It flows to people with ideas. Money flows to people who can dare do things that is going to help other people to solve their problems. You can be that person. You can be rich. You can be wealthy. You can provide solution to people's problem. Money can gravitate to you if you are willing to do what it takes. And God is happy when you prosper. The Bible says God takes pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. God is happy when you make it. Do not be among those who think that money is evil. Don't be among those who attack the gospel of prosperity. The gospel of Jesus is an all-encompassing gospel. Jesus came with all you know, the solution to the totality of human problem. One of the solutions to our problem is money. Money, the Bible calls it a defense. So money is important. If money is not important, why don't you stop working and see what will happen in the next few months? You see, money is so important to us. It's one of the means of solving our problems. And so attention must be given to money. Jesus paid attention to preach to the poor. It's, the Bible says that he have good news to the poor. Money is important. And so you must think about it. This is the message God put in my mouth this morning. And this is where I'm going to stop. Thank you for listening. Please rebroadcast this. Thank you, partners, for making it possible to distribute this message to many people around the world. May God bless you and replenish your purse in the mighty name of Jesus. This is your brother, your friend, your pastor, 
Joseph Adenoga signing out and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.